All right, guys, I'm out here installing some deck lights on the Ranger 522 today. I thought I'd make a quick video on the lights I'm using. I'd stumbled across these lights probably five years ago on my previous boat. And I liked them so well that I decided to install them on this boat as well for the price that you can get them for. And then, like I said, they were excellent lights. I never had any trouble out of them. Uh, before I'd found these, actually, I was, I'd looked at several different ones. I looked at the Rigid Industries, and they wanted a fortune for theirs. I think it was like $900 to do a boat. And then I'd looked at the Blue Water LED lights, the ones that stick on. And they had mixed reviews. People talked about them peeling and different stuff. Said you could silicone the edges and glue them and different stuff. And I just wanted a more permanent light, kind of like the Rigid Industries. I just didn't want to give a fortune for them. So I'm, I'm just a weekend fisherman. And I, I couldn't sacrifice $900 for deck lights. So I, I stumbled across these. These are a... Let me get the box here. It's a RGB multicolor uh, rock light. And they're made, as you can see, for putting like under wheel wells of your vehicle but they look identical to the rigid industry lights they're a solid aluminum housing it comes with your wiring harness and then a, then a multi uh, multi-color controller it's all waterproof connections uh i think i've got right at 80 dollars in 10 of them as i run six on my front deck and then i'm going to be installing two down here and then one on each side of the back deck but they're a multicolor led they've got an app that you can download on your phone i'll show you here real quick it runs off bluetooth and you can you can dim them let's see here you can dim the lights let me get a closer view or brighten them and then you can change them to any color. They've got a white light that you can turn on. And then they've got any color you want to make it. As you can see it's just a multicolor thing. You can turn any color you want so you're not stuck with this one color light. All right, guys, I thought I'd make a quick video here at night, what these lights look like, give you a better idea of, of what they kind of look like. Let's give you a little bit closer up view of them. And I'll show you the uh, the brightness too, where you can adjust how bright they are. Probably see it a lot better here at night. All right, you can see all you do is just like I said, they put out a quite a bit of light. All right, so basically what you get in your boxes is your lights. Like I said, they come in four, six, or eight pack. This was a four pack. As you can see, they're solid aluminum lights. And they come with all waterproof connections. Uh, and then you get your, oh, let me show you real quick. Uh, they do come with screws. But they're an Allen head screw. They come with screw and a nut. I replaced them with just Phillips screws because I'm just screwing them into the fiberglass. And then they come with these uh, these rubber mounts. I assume if you wanted to mount them like on a rub rail or something, any kind of rounded surface, maybe like a, a T-top in a center console boat or something. So if you needed those, they do come with that. And then you get your your control module or your color control module this is what your app hooks into 
off of Bluetooth and it just hooks up to a, a hot and a ground. I run mine to a switch, that way you can just switch them off and on. Uh, and then you got your, your wiring harness and they're all waterproof connection. They just plug straight into your, your light and screw together. You can buy, I think these are 10 foot leads on them, but you can buy an additional 10 foot lead. If you, uh, I bought two kits. I bought a, a six pack and then a four pack. You can buy them in six or four, six and eight pack. But I bought a six pack for the front deck and then a four pack for back here. And the reason why I done that is because with your wiring harness, the leads are only so long. You can buy an extension lead. I think they're 10 foot extensions if you want to do them all off of one, but I figured I'd just do uh, two different controllers and make it a little easier. I'm going to mount this one up underneath the seat and then run my wires around to each one. And then on my front deck, I mounted uh, the controller up here underneath the the panel and I just run my uh, wire and harness around each one of them. As far as install, it's, it's pretty simple to install them. You just got your, I just put some masking tape on the boat to mark it. And then you've got your two screw holes and then you got a, a 9 16 inch hole that you got to drill for your wire. I'll show you over here where I've already drilled them. I just use a 9 16 uh, wafer bit. If you can use whatever kind of drill bit you want. But you just basically use your two screw holes and then your, your wire as you can see and the reason why you gotta have a 9 16 is because this end here it's got to pull through it takes a 9 16 to get that to slide through and as far as running your wire i just used a, a fish that i got from uh, i got it from harbor freight just to run it through your hole tape your wire to it pull it back through and then you just like i said i'm going to mount my control box underneath the seat here because i'm going to be running two lights there so I'm gonna mount my control box there and just run my wire around to it. But it's pretty simple to install, there's not much to it. And like I said, if, if you ever did have a light, I've like I said I had the last ones for over four years and I never had a light to go out on me. But if you did have a light, it's just simple. You just pull it out, unplug it, plug your new one back in and screw it back in and that's all there is to it. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and catch you on the next one.